30 days out from our Disney World trip. This is what I'm looking at as an outfit planner here. When we go to Epcot, we're gonna eat breakfast with the princesses. You wanna do the show yourself dress? Yeah, they'll love that. Okay, next we are on to Magic Kingdom. I yeah. wanna ride it again. Boxes, and you're probably like, what in the world are you doing with it? Anna and Elsa it is will be doing Acro Shoes breakfast. I want something cute and comfortable, like I can lounge in it, I can take things to the park, I can run to Target in this. This is the fit. You might run it by your husband before you buy him a shirt like this. Well, hello and welcome to the makeshift desk in my bedroom here today. Um, so we are 30 days out from our Disney World trip. I am so excited, but I wanted to take you guys along for some prepping content because there's so much that goes into prepping for a vacation and so many things that go into even packing for a vacation before everything's just meticulously laid out on the bed. I put it in packing cubes and throw it in the suitcase. Like there's so many steps and so much time that goes into that. So I wanted to do this more prepping for Disney and go a little more detailed, a little more in the process of getting ready for a Disney vacation kind of some of the things that I do to do a lot of prep work that way when we're on vacation it can be as relaxing as possible even though Disney World is not known as the most chill place on earth <laughs> although you can make it as chill as you want it it can be a little bit of frantic no matter where you go honestly though on vacation it can be stressful because you're still parenting and you're still doing all these things but just in a different location so I'm gonna dive into kind of what I do. We're gonna start getting ready, we're 30 days out, so let's do some Disney prep. First thing that I will do, and sometimes I'll do this before 30 days, but at minimum 30 days out, this is what I am officially doing for my family. So I have some printables and I will have my Etsy shop with these printables linked down below. And if you're watching this and you want to get your hands on these, you can use the code video and save 10% on your order. So if you wanna do that, I'll have it linked down below. But the first thing that I do is print out my Disney wish list. So this is kind of our wish list of things that we want to do our itinerary almost if you will and it's kind of a week at a glance i find this to be really nice it works for me and i find like i love our blocking at home our blocking at disney stresses me out like i just don't like that i feel like if i'm i've not hit something within that time frame that i'm behind on my schedule i've not done well so i really appreciate this it has though a weather spot so that's what we're going to do first before we jump into the packing list and all that good stuff is we're going to research weather so before you even buy the first outfit for a disney i would highly recommend doing this so i have the website accuweather and this is what i'm looking at so our trip is going to be in march so it's looking like we're going to be having mid 70s and still low 50s so not just blazing summer temperatures but it's gonna be nice it should be comfortable we should be able to wear a t-shirt hopefully maybe some shorts um, but that's just obviously a prediction of this year so another thing that I like to do is up at the top there where it's got um, March 2024 you can actually click on the year and scroll back so I like to flip back to the year before so we're gonna look at 2023's weather and see what it actually was so that way it kind of gives you a prediction of what it could be but then also okay historically this is kind of what it was as well so looking at my dates it was in it was 87 87 91 90 91 89 and then the lows were in the lowest low was 62 instead of in the 50s um so definitely with that weather we want more shorts tank tops um things like that we're definitely getting in the pool at that temperature um but if it's like 70 degrees that may not be pool weather um because 70 even in the hottest part of the day is 70. um so depending on like how we're feeling that day it may or may not be pool weather so with that being said looks like for our spring trip it's definitely going to be still packing layers so i'm thinking i will likely lean more towards these shorts and tank tops but then have a sweatshirt a hoodie something that i can layer on over that to be comfortable and warm um i'll probably throw in like some leggings or a pair of jeans that way if we do like it is chillier in the evenings i have something i can put on before we go back to the parks but with that being said, I am going to write down 
I'm gonna write down 80 degrees, you guys, as our high. And we're gonna play it on that. And I'm gonna write down 60 as our low. So that's kind of a pretty big swing, but it's just part of what you're dealing with, especially in those winter, spring months. It's just all over the board. So, so I've got that written down on my little list here. Now let's start looking at the packing list. Now that I know the temperatures, I can start planning things out accordingly. So I'm gonna start with my mommy packing list. Usually we're the last, but you know what? This is the trip we're putting ourselves first. Also, this is the trip we're remembering to pack snacks for us. Like if you always forget to pack snacks for yourself, you'll have to let me know in the comment section. But I am the world's worst. Like I feel like I just always take care of my kids, always take care of my husband. Everybody has snacks and then I'm sitting on the plane and I'm like, wow, I just completely forgot myself. And I'm like munching on my kids snacks or eating a handful of Cheerios. And we're not doing that this time, but jumping in here, I'm going to go through and um, work on my packing list. So with mine, I have an outfit planner. It'll focus on it. I have an outfit planner here. So we're gonna go through and just circle um, the location that we're going to be. So whether it's the pin for travel day or Magic Kingdom or a water park or Disney Springs, whatever that is, I'm gonna go through and circle those things. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So this is going to be a travel day. And I believe our first day we're also going to Magic Kingdom. So we like to bookend our trips with Magic Kingdom. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna speed through this on all of the packing lists and then we'll start figuring out outfits. Another thing I'm gonna do before I start packing and picking outfits is write down all of our dining reservations. So kind of what we're theming towards what we're doing that day will dictate it. Um, so on our Epcot day, we're doing Acro Shoes Princess Breakfast. So I know we're gonna to wanna to do something princessy wise outfit wise that day um on um our hollywood studios day we're doing hollywood and vine so we may want to do something like mini and daisy kind of thinking on that day or um disney junior characters so depending on which side we lean into or we might do toy story i don't know we we'll see on that one and then on our Magic Kingdom day, our full Magic Kingdom day, we're doing Cinderella's Royal Table. It's the first time we've ever done it and I am so stinking excited. So, you know, we're gonna have to have a princess dress of some sort for that day. Um, so let's jump into seeing like what we need, what we have, and we'll kind of go from there. Now I don't wait until the trip to start buying things. Um, for us, we do go to Disney quite a bit. So if you wanna plan this ahead of time and be like, okay, well, this is a birthday present. This dress is a birthday present, or this dress is a Christmas present. That's something you can do. Or like as you're out grocery shopping, I had some ideas because I knew where we were staying and I had in mind some of the things that we were going to do. I knew some of our dining reservations. So I had already been picking up some of these things. Um, so depending on how in advance far out you're planning, obviously you can do this well before 30 days. But today's 30 days for me. So uh, just to share, when I went to Walmart to get groceries the other day, I obviously as a mom, I, it's my duty to go through the kids clothing section and I saw these little set. So it's got the sweatshirt as well as the pants and they are super soft. They're lightweight, which I like. They do, um, let's see. Oh yes, that is adjustable in the waistband so you can like tighten it up and tie it. And they were like six bucks a piece. So I got these for the girls because we're staying at Pop Century. So hello, this screams Pop Century. So I went ahead and grabbed these for the girls. It's like our travel day, arrival day outfits. So, and we can also interchange these, like we'll also be there for flower and garden. So in the morning we might do, since we're doing the princess breakfast, we could do princess outfit. But then in the evening I could have washed this and they can wear that for flower and garden if it's chilly, so two birds with one stone there, if you will. And I will try to link some of the different stores and shops that I check out down in the description box below. Um, that way, if you're looking for something, literally I find Disney kids clothes or themed kids clothes everywhere. I will shop at Walmart, I'll shop at Target. Um, H&M is a good one. Let's see, for princess dresses, um, these are the Taylor Joel. Um, I will link um, some of the other princess dresses that we shop. And so, yeah, I will I will try to link 
a lot as much as I can down in the description box below. And I'll also try to include some things for boys because I know I have boy moms out there or you have a girl and a boy. So you're shopping for multiples. I will try to link some of that too because I have been seeing some really cute boy stuff in the stores um, like as I'm perusing for things. So that's them. But we need to talk about us. Um, so in a few minutes, I need to go eat lunch. But then we'll chat about mom's clothes and what in the world are we wearing? Now that I'm fed, I feel I feel good and like I can get back to doing this. Um, also the girls have been fed and they're down for quiet time. So I'm gonna go through and kind of start looking at this and thinking of outfits that I have. Um, can I do a little bit of a shopping my own closet for ideas first before I search for things? Um, for me personally, I have kind of shifted a little bit away from buying just strictly Disney clothes, but things that are themed towards, oh, this would be a really pretty summer dress that I can wear when we go meet the princesses and it's kind of a fun dress or um, like going in with it being spring, I could potentially get a dress that, okay, this is gonna be my Easter dress, but then I can also wear it for breakfast in the castle, like that sort of thing. So that's kind of the idea of how I've shifted my shopping for myself. I will still buy like a Mickey sweatshirt here or there or a t-shirt or tank top or like whatever. Um, I will try to throw that into the mix but I will theme it more or I will try to do like Disney bounding where I'm taking regular clothes and making them look like a Disney outfit so that I can get a little bit more longevity out of it even though I go to Disney a lot more than even the average person goes to Disney. I still like everything I don't want it to just be super Mickey Mouse or um, Minnie Mouse or a princess or whatever so it, I'm finding that balance between okay this is something that I can actually wear again and again and again without walking out the door every day in something Disney so I know that may be a little bit of a controversial opinion of like but you're a Disney mom you have to dress in Disney all the time and it has to be subtle Disney or Disney this or Disney that and it's like so depending on how you look at it that's just for me and what I'm looking at so let's go ahead and pick out some outfits and yeah I will share I've got some ideas because you know you you scroll Instagram you scroll um, Amazon and things like that so I will share some ideas of outfits that I'm thinking about too so let me pull some things and then we'll go from there so this will probably be my travel day outfit it's like I have it in a couple of different colors and it's consistently my travel day outfit <laughs> It's actually the sweater I have on today with these pants, so I'm switching it up and using it differently. But it's these joggers, they're knit, they feel so comfortable and so nice. So that will probably be my travel day outfit, is my purple set. Oh, and as I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of hang them together in a little section of the closet. Um, I have a small... <laughs> A very small closet. I don't even have a walk-in or anything. Um, but I want to hang them like kind of separately. That way I know, okay, these are the Disney clothes. Um, and if I can, we're 30 days out, if I can skip wearing them and that way they're clean and ready to go, that just makes it easier. Or I know, okay, at least I can see most of the things are there and then I can pull what I have to. Uh, but I find that that helps just a little bit. So let's keep going and find some other clothes. <laughs> Okay, so I bought this back at the fall, but it was like, I got it and I ordered it for a trip and it like never showed up and it finally like a month after showed up. But it's this little, it's kind of like the shackets that are so popular, but it's this like purple or navy blue like romper. It's long sleeved. It's kind of a knit like material. It's got the shorts. So I'm thinking this could be cool for Animal Kingdom. Roll up the sleeves if I needed to. It does have pockets. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking for that. Um, I'm just worried it might be a little too warm, especially if it is in that 80s. Um, I don't know. So I want to wear it, but I'm just like... I don't know, it may be one of those, I take it and we'll see. I don't know. Okay, I had this in heavy rotation over the summer and last year, and it's it's coming back again. So it's this purple set, it has the shorts that pair with it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do this for Animal Kingdom. I know it's not your typical Animal Kingdom, but I'm just gonna go with lights, pastels, um, and that way it's kind of like a vibe. Oh, and set. I also forgot, I ordered this set here 
and I'm like, oh, that could be a good travel day outfit too. I'm all about a good set right now, like so many. Like, I'm trying to just not wear leggings and t-shirts all the time. Like, I have done that for so many years now, and I'm just kind of like, I just, I want to bust out of the uniform. Like, I feel like I'm somebody that you have to dress in, like, business attire all the time for your job, and you're like, I just want to wear something else. Um, so I, I do have that set coming. It's I'm very excited. It'll be here in a couple of days. So maybe when it pops in, um, I can do a quick haul of that um, within this video. But it's so stinking cute. They have it in a bunch of different colors. Like, so if purple's not your jam, they've got something that would likely be your jam. Um, but I ordered that set, so I may, I don't know, I may do that one instead. <laughs> um, but some ideas I had saved, uh, and I may order. So I was also looking at this for Animal Kingdom. So I feel like that would be like really comfortable. And so a lot of my clothes have any more started coming from Amazon. I love that I can order them. I can try them on in the comfort of my home. And if they don't work, I can easily drop them off, send them back kind of thing. So I just end up gravitating towards that. Um, going out and shopping in stores, like, I don't know, I just, I don't usually have a ton of time for that. Um, I will find a few things like at Walmart or Target when I'm like perusing um, on occasion, but a lot of times anymore, my clothes are coming from Amazon and it just, it's so much easier. So I like that one as like a summery set. And then I saw this one, it's actually on sale currently. It's got like a, it's a limited time deal. It's $29.99 regularly and it's on sale for 26 plus a 20% off coupon. So I don't know if it'll stay like that, but I thought this would be perfect even for Animal Kingdom. I love that it's a set and I don't feel like it, I'm not usually big on like the separated stomach and like showing off my belly because postpartum belly is like not all that cute, um, at least on me. And it usually doesn't see the sun. So it's like a white strip. <laughs> so it's not the cutest thing. I'm thinking that it would probably, I'm sh on the more petite side, so it might meet. I don't know. I'm just looking. I'm just, and I'm trying to be cute, you guys, okay? Um, and it also gives me cute summer outfits that I can wear other times throughout the year. Maybe for our castle breakfast? I don't know. Either castle breakfast or our princess breakfast at Epcot is this dress. If I can get the glare off of it. That dress like a smocked top spaghetti strap it's comfy it's flowy i'll be able to wear that well into the summer so i think that one's cute and yes it has a trend with like the whole colors is i love a good light purple and then the uh, last thing that i had and i had thought about this for um epcot since we'll be going during flower and garden and i think i shared this on my instagram stories before but was this cardigan so that's those are those are a few of the things that I'm looking at for myself. I'm so indecisive when I like when it comes to shopping for stuff like that. So we'll see what I end up pulling together, and I'll um, share that a full outfit roundup either in the packing video or as it comes in or whatever. But that's kind of the outfits idea there. I'm going to move into Lucy's room though and see what she has in her closet. Kind of shop our own closets first and then I know what to buy because it's so easy to see all of these cute Disney outfits and be like, okay, I want to buy this and I want to buy this and I want to buy this. But then you really, you either end up with too much or you don't need it and you had stuff that you could have worn instead. So that's one of the things that I want to do is peruse our own closets and look and see what outfits I can pull from what we already own and then if we want something extra then we can get that or I know like as I'm shopping okay I need to find an animal kingdom outfit I need to find an Epcot outfit and if I see something that works then we can pull that so um, those of you that don't plan outfits you're like you just throw t-shirts you have five shirts five shorts and you put it in the suitcase and you're done Ashley what are you talking about bud <laughs> for me I like planning outfits so and this is also our trips are my excuse for buying clothes I don't outside of trips buy a ton of clothes so they're they're when I center around buying things for as far as outfits but okay that's gonna do that let's move into Lucy's room and then we'll keep going when we go to Animal Kingdom what do you think you should wear I should wear the the no, go the right way, not the wrong way. This way? Yeah. Um, I was thinking this dress at Animal Kingdom. Um, we can, wait mommy, wait a second. Which one? The, the one, the pink one with the headband. When we go to Epcot, we're gonna eat breakfast with the princesses. What do you think you should wear then? We can, I can wear 
in my ghost spider dress. To the princesses? Yeah, and they'll laugh <laughs> it, and they'll love it. Yeah, but ghost spider's not gonna be there. Why don't we save the ghost spider dress for something else? Other princess dress do you think you should wear? Should you wear one of these? Or should we look at getting a new one? Uh, I want to do my new one to be a number. Or my new one to let it. My you want new this one? Show. Yeah, that would actually wear that one. You want to do the show yourself dress? Yeah, that will love that. Is Elsa going to be there? She won't be at breakfast, but maybe we can meet her. Does that sound fun? Yeah, and, and show her that dress. She'll yeah. love it. I think she'll love it. Yeah. Alright, we can do that. I want to wear many. You want to, I think sister would want to be Minnie. Would you mind being Daisy? Sure. You could wear your Daisy dress to Hollywood Studios again. Yeah, that can be, that's the perfect one. And I can wear my car again over it. Yeah, if it's cool. All right, we'll put this down for your Hollywood Studios outfit. That means I'll have to find a print, or a Minnie Mouse dress for sister. Sure. Let's see, we're going to wear your new Rapunzel dress when we go to Magic Kingdom. Where is it? It's in Mommy's room. I'll have to grab it. After that, what else should we wear? We should wear... We could wear the Rapunzel dress in the morning, and then in the evening after we have our little quiet time, then what should we wear in the evening? We should wear my Rapunzel shirt. You want to wear your Rapunzel shirt? Yeah. You don't want to wear a dress? Uh, I want to wear the same time. You want to wear your Rapunzel dress in the morning and your Rapunzel shirt at night? Yeah, I can wear that at night. Okay. Tiana shirt. Your Tiana shirt? Yeah. You like your Tiana shirt? Well, we'll put that one over there too. We'll take your Tiana shirt as well. And that way you can have an extra shirt in case you got something dirty. So this can be a backup outfit. How's that sound? Yeah, that can be when we're traveling on the airplane towards the, towards towards the, all the places we were going to go. Okay, sounds yeah, good. We, this time, we're taking the Nemo Hotel. Oh, this yeah. time we're going to stay at the Flower Hotel. Hey, yeah, that's the Daisy Mickey Hotel. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Mickey Hotel. That's going to be fun, huh? It's the, and it's going to have a Mickey, and it's going to have a Mickey pool. It's going to have a flower pool. Yeah, and the, and the flowers will spray on my head. Oh, my goodness. Are they going to spray? Maybe, if you want them to. Are they little showers? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you have to press the button and it comes to live shower? Yeah, that's the one. Oh. Did you like that pool? Yeah. The kids pool. I mm -hmm. love that pool. That's my favorite. I'm really excited about this video because it is actually in collaboration with my fellow Disney mom vlogger and just Disney best friend, real life best friend, whatever, Becca Hart. So I will have a link to her channel as well as her video. She's also getting ready to leave for Disney. So she leaves just a couple days before we do, her and her four-year-old daughter, Ellie Rose. So she is doing all of the prepping and packing content as well. So if you want to be extra prepared, you've got to go over and check out Becca's channel. She's amazing. She is a gem of a mama to follow and it gives all kinds of practical real life advice for traveling with your little ones going to Disney and all kinds of fun stuff once you are finished with the video you need to head down to the description box click the link go over and check out her video and that way between the two of us we will tag team and have you so ready for Disney you will feel like you are a pro So I hadn't really planned on today being a prep for Disney day, but I'm out, I'm running errands, I'm picking up birthday presents, we're grabbing a few grocery items, and so I'm like, you know what, I might as well, I know some things that I need. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them in the cart while I'm here. So I'm grabbing like toothbrushes, dry shampoo, baby wipes that I know I'll need for my purse or mommy bag, just different things like that I'm going ahead and grabbing now, because I'm like, I might as well check a few things off the to-do list a little bit along. So we're doing that, we strolled through through the kids clothes and I found a couple of really cute things the girls needed a new swimsuit for this year and so I found some really cute ones and so while they're in stock they're here in my store I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them um, but yeah they've got some really cute kid stuff so I'll link the things that we snagged um, but they I'm excited like so if you're looking for cute Disney clothes or just cute spring clothes in general you definitely should make a target run 
Listen, I know I'm not cute. I just hopped out the shower. My hair is still wet. I have clothes on and I have coffee, but it is 20 days until our Disney trip. And so we're hot mess expressing and over here, most of the time you're probably not really cute when you're planning your Disney trip either. So just keeping it real, but I've got my homework. So if you are in my Genie Plus course, you know all about this, but I have a homework here that I'm gonna sit down and do with the girls prepping for our Disney trip of picking our rides. So we're gonna do that, make that whole trip prep, getting ready for in the parks time so much easier because you do not wait until you get in the parks to decide what you want to do if you are you're probably those people posting reels about I had a horrible time at Disney also we're gonna get in an Amazon haul later but more on that in a minute I know it does all right girls okay so at Magic Kingdom what rides do you want to go on Dumbo or Poppy well Poppy won't be on this trip but you can go on Dumbo. Okay. What else? What do you want to do, Bella? Dance. Toy Story? Yes. You want the Buzz Lightyear Toy Story or the one with a, where we pull the string? I'm gonna try the string. Pull the string? Yes. Okay, so you're hopping over to Hollywood Studios. Hold on. You okay. Want Toy Story Mania. Toy Story Mania. That's what Bella wants. I want, I want that. That one's at Hollywood Studios. Okay. What else do you girls want to do at Magic Kingdom? Daddy, what do you want to do? Barnstormer! That's your top pick? Barnstormer With these two, yes. <laughs> Daddy, I want to ride Barnstormer too because I like Barnstormer too. You get to go on Barnstormer for the very first time. Yes. Yay. You get to go on it too, yes. Yeah, I want to go with Daddy. Yeah, you can ride with Daddy and Sissy can ride with Mommy. Does that sound good? Yes, she can ride with the other boys on the other side. Well, there's two seats. So you and Daddy will have a seat and then Mommy and Sissy will have a seat. You, I'll sit in the, me and Daddy will be to me. The front. All right. Me. All right. You go okay. to me. Okay. I know, I go to you. Yeah. <laughs> she goes to the back. Nice yep. She does have a chocolate face. Yeah, that looks mm. like a mustache. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> we had chalky milk. We did. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate milk. All right. I yeah. want to ride it again. You want to ride it yeah, again? Yeah, I don't want to ride. That scared me for me. I like to you you both ride it. Well, maybe you and Daddy can ride it while Mommy and Sister ride Big Thunder. Oh, that'll yeah. be fun. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's ride. try that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. So like funny! That oh my gosh. Me and you will ride, Belle. Good. That's a good check. Hey, I do. Um, do we want to ride Living with the Land? That's the yeah. boat ride. Uh, I want a boat ride. Right here. Where okay. are the plants? With the, all the plants. No. Oh, me too. I, I like the Nemo Check ride. Nemo. I like. There we go. Look at the fishes. Yeah. I like the fish. And Turtle Talk with Crush, because Daddy's there. Did you guys do that one? No. <gasps> we didn't get to. Me and my crazy hair again. I promise I'm going to go dry this in a second. Um, Frozen is on the TV. The girls are content. And I sat down to check emails for a second on my computer and I got one from Touring Plans. So this is just a heads up to remind you that we are 20 days out and Disney just changed the park hour. Magic Kingdom has gone from being open until 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. on one of our days. And then um, on our Hollywood Studios day, it is gone from opening at 9 a.m. to opening at 8.30. So if you like write all that stuff down or whatever, like for me, for my itineraries, I'll usually do a rough draft first one before I book our dining 60 days out. So this is just a reminder to always, as it gets a little bit closer to your trip, go back and check that. I usually will print off another itinerary and just rewrite everything out with the most accurate information about a week out. But I got this email, so I wanted to mention that. So definitely double check that. You don't want to show up thinking, oh, well, Magic Kingdom is going to open at nine o'clock and they changed it to eight o'clock and you're there. Early entry is over and and the park is open, the crowds are there, the lines are longer, and you're like, wait a minute, I was getting here thinking I was gonna have really low weights because I was getting here for rope drop at 9 a.m. So, 
just something to note. Um, Animal Kingdom's hours have changed. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Magic Kingdom's hours have changed twice during our trip. Hollywood Studios once and Animal Kingdom twice during our trip. So yeah, definitely make sure to check that stuff. <laughs> Okay, on my to-do list is change out these pictures here from being Christmas pictures to like normal pictures. That's happening. Like these were from Lucy's very first Christmas when she was three months old. The child is going to be five in like six months. Um, I think it's time for a change, but <laughs> that's not what we're here for. We're here for an Amazon haul. So we got a few random things and then I also got some clothing items. So we're gonna go through the like travel gear that I purchased for this trip. Um, so obviously, just disclaimer here, you don't have to buy everything that I share. I mean, I appreciate it when you shop my links. I do make a small commission when you shop my links, but you don't need everything that I share. I don't use everything that I share every single trip. It all depends on a case by case basis. What we're doing, what we're packing for, the situation, like the whole vibe, like I alternate what I use depending on that. And also our times, like seasons ebb and flow with what my girls need, what they don't need. So just gonna go ahead and put that out there. Um, I know it's easy to see things. I love watching Amazon hauls and I would be completely broke if I bought everything that I saw some of my favorite creators sharing. So just full transparency on that and just like disclaimer, not that you need my permission on what to spend your money on or what not to, just like I don't need my your permission to what to spend money on. We don't have to ask each other, you know, that's we're all adults here, but I just wanted to kind of say that. Now, if you see something and you're like, oh my gosh, we would totally use that, that would be amazing, and you resonate with it, that is awesome. I'm happy for that, but with that being said, let's jump into the haul. So first thing is this little attachment for my computer charger. My cable was like being all stretched out and would just unravel. I would like try to loop it up and stick it in a pocket, but it would come undone. So this thing is awesome. It just, you have this silicone loop that wraps around and it comes with this case that you just pop on and you just literally wind the cable around it. And then it comes with this a little attachment to attach the cable to the wire. So if you're like me, you travel with your computer, maybe you travel for work, this is really helpful. I'm so excited about this thing. Like to not have cables just like coming at me like a snake in my bag, it just sounds amazing. So I'm very excited about this little piece. I have these sunglasses and I've wore them. Yes, I dropped the sunglasses twice. But with that being said, I have these sunglasses and I wear them a lot, but they are like black, black, like they're dark girl like real real dark there's like you can barely see my eyes through this thing I mean you can see with even with my ring light like you can barely see through these things so saw these on sale for 10 bucks and I'm like these are better and they're not so dark I actually like that they're navy I didn't know that when I ordered it and then I got them out of the package and I'm like ooh girl these are navy I like it they're not like your typical black sunglasses but I thought these were awesome they aren't quite as dark so it makes it easier to see things I have tinted windows on my car and so between the tinted windows on my car and the glasses it was just like almost too much and I'm like yeah this is not working so as much as I love them I'm so glad I got these and I also love that they don't have the nose piece so they're not gonna get stuck in your hair when you go like this because as a mom, like you gotta be able to get them out of your off your face. And I'm not somebody that likes to like my husband will do this, but I don't I won't hang my sunglasses. Like this is just this is not it for me. Um so the fact that I can push them up on my hair and I don't have a nose piece getting stuck in my hair, awesome. Now these are a restock. We had run out of these and they are perfect though. But they're a bunch of little tiny notebooks. And I will put these in my girls busy books so I can like get a bunch of stickers and things and they can put stickers in these they can color in these and they're just so small so thin um, I can put them in my mommy bag I can put them in their bags um, our diaper bag we can use these at meals like we went through a whole package of these before um, I shared these before but they are seriously awesome and I think it was like five bucks for this multi pack like I couldn't even go to the Dollar Tree I feel like and get them that cheap so I was very excited to find something affordable and everything on Amazon so we just go through it we can like decorate the front of the book with stickers and their name and these are awesome so I love something you can customize another thing I grabbed 
or just kind of some organization because I feel like I, I want to organize our room like we've gotten pretty good at keeping it organized but I just things need a home even when you're traveling and I grabbed these little suction cups there are sections on the back, but they're for your toothbrushes. So you can pop these up on a, like a mirror or something and be able to have them up and out of the way. So very excited about these that come in a pack of four. Yeah, four. So there's enough for each of us in this little pack and they don't take up a lot of room. So they're not going to be hard to pack, but they will get our toothbrushes up off the counter or laying somewhere or whatever that they'll be like up and out of the way. So very excited about those. Grab these little boxes and you're probably like, what in the world are you doing with those? Okay, so for one, they're gonna be used at home. I'm thinking I can put my stuff like for Easter for them in these and they'll pop out, let me show you. But I'm planning on using these for like Valentine's baskets, Easter baskets, ah! Oh my gosh, my leg's stuck. But I'm planning on using these for Easter baskets. I can use them as little Valentine's baskets that is coming up at the time I'm filming this so I can put their little goodies in it. But it just pops out like this. So it starts out this size, which is pretty thin. Um, I can easily slip this into their suitcase, but my plan for the hotel for this is to take it and have each one of them as an activity basket. So while we're getting ready in the middle of the day, like if Lucy's doing quiet time, if she's not napping, cause we've gotten into, we still go back to the room because she, Bella needs a nap, but Lucy sometimes will take a nap, sometimes she doesn't. And so to incorporate quiet time there, we can have some quiet time toys, some of the little notebooks, coloring, stickers, things like that. Um, and we'll go over activities that I'm taking in a minute. So we're gonna get to that. But um, I am taking this as like, okay, if we get, they usually like, we'll get a toy or something and it'll usually be one of those dolls or something that has all the little like play things with it so they can organize and put all their stuff in here. You could even pack this up and have it in like your personal item and pull it out and like put the toys in it and let them play with it even on the plane if you wanted to. So, I mean, there's some different ideas of things you could totally do with this, um, but that's just kind of one of them. So that is what I'm planning on with those, but I also have uses for them at home. So I, the things I purchase, I want them to have more longevity than just necessarily travel. And for me, these are gonna get a lot of use for other things too. Okay, last couple things are little organizers here. So I grabbed this for putting my charger and batteries in. I saw my girl Becca Hart, which I'm clevering on in this video with. She got one of these and I forget it was like a different color, but she's like, oh, I have a spot to put my camera batteries. And I I have my big organizer that I put all of my chargers in, but when we're in the parks, I don't really have something that I can put, de like I can designate for putting chargers and things in. They're in pockets sometimes, but I needed a little bit more organization than just throwing it in a diaper bag pocket, so I got this. Um, if you don't like carry camera batteries and all that kind of stuff, this may or may not apply to you, but for me, I'm very excited because it has pockets for all of my camera batteries. I can put my phone charger in here, which is nice, and I can also note like, okay, this side is for batteries that I've not used yet. They've got a full charge. These are for batteries. I took out of the camera, they are dead. And so I need to charge those so I can kind of organize it that way. And then it also has one uh, big spot on this side. So I can put even more chargers or something if I needed to on here. Um, so I love that it has additional storage, but I know, okay, this is the batteries. So I don't, I'm not fiddling through things. I just know exactly where they are. Let's move on to, I'm very excited about this portion, but let's move on to the outfits I purchased for, I'm gonna do a try on haul of my outfits because mom usually goes last and it's always all about toddler outfits and kids outfits and husband's outfits and let's do something for us. So I'm gonna share what I got for myself for this trip and what outfits, very excited. Mostly they're just like spring clothes, but I'm like theming them to Disney. So we're gonna get into that. Um, and then I'm also, when I share my outfit, I'll also, also share what I'm pairing um, with it for the kids and 14 because a good outfit coordination is always nice. So let's jump into that. Okay, so this outfit is not new, but it's what I'm wearing right now. So I wanted to share it because I just love this thing so much. It is this sweater. It's like a knit kind of material. As you can see, it does have the little pocket up top here. Come on, focus, there we go. Um, but it has the pocket. It is super comfortable. I love it. It has the jogger pants. Um, so they're very, very comfortable and the pockets on the side. So I 
love this thing. The biggest con is that you do need to, um, you can wash it in the washing machine, but I hang it to dry or I'll like lay it on the back of a chair or something like that. Um, if you, the first like couple times I dried them, I couldn't see much of a difference, but then it's like the more I would like with my blue set that's just like this, the more I would wash it and then dry it and the dryer, the more it like, okay, it shrunk. I can still fit it. Like it's still comfortable. I still enjoy it and I will still wear it, but it's not as like loose fitting as this is. It's just a little more form fitting. It's still something I can wear, but it is on the more form fitting side. So let me grab my outfits. <laughs> And let's get into this haul. Oh, and I totally forgot. So, my stunning clover tote. And I know, I've given this thing a very hard time. If you watched my <laughs> best and worst travel gear, you know, stony clover was just like, we, we had words, like it was a thing. But I do still have my tote because sometimes you just need a big open tote to just throw things in. There are occasions where I do use a simple tote bag, but I wanted to have a bit more organization. So if you're like me and you, you have the Stony Clover tote, I'm not saying go out and buy it because I don't, like I'm using it, but it's not like, oh my gosh, this is my holy grail go-to bag. But on the occasions that I do want to use it, I'm trying to improve the organization of this bag and my enjoyment of this bag. Um, so I'm not quite, I want to sell this one. I've sold a lot of Stony Clover. I literally have like, I think three pieces left of my collection and I had a lot of Stony Clover, but I have this bag still. And to make it more organized, I bought this insert. I'm so excited about this. And I actually might enjoy using my Stony Clover tote other than just like being a black hole that I have to shuffle through. Um, so I'm, I think I may have improved this. So if you have a stony clover tote and you're just like, I like it, but I don't love it, uh, this is for you. So on the inside of this bag, it has this little organizer. Okay, hold on. Let me take the other things off. But on the inside of the bag, I have this little organizer and it is like this felt like material and it, and it fits in this thing literally perfectly. It is massive and has all these different pockets. So it has exterior pockets. We've got zipper pockets over here. We've got a zipper pocket in the middle. It even has a spot that's a cup holder. And y'all, the cup holder fits my, well, it's not a Stanley. I'm not bougie enough to be a, to have a Stanley. It's like $15 from TJ Maxx, or you can get it for like 20 on Amazon, either one. But. It has a cup holder that fits, if you have a Stanley, girl, it'll fit your Stanley. I am so excited about it. Like it has like interior pockets, so many things. Even this organizer on the center is Velcro. So if you want to take the zipper part out and leave the cup holder, you can do that. Or you can put that pocket back in, like whatever you wanna do. Or if you wanna take the cup holder out, gone. And it's just like, organization around the outside, but then you've got a spot to be like organized on the inside with like more open. If you have like books or something that you're carrying in here, I'm so excited. It, this is like, I would have probably enjoyed my Stony Clover Toad a lot more if I would have found this. So if you're like me, you have one, you don't love it, you like it, meet your new best friend. Now let's get onto that outfit haul. <laughs> the dress I ordered for Animal Kingdom, which is gonna be our first park day, hasn't arrived yet, but it looks like this. So I'm very excited about it. I have a, like a light purple pinky kind of shade of a dress just like this, and it is so incredibly comfortable. So that's which one's coming. That's gonna be my Animal Kingdom outfit, but let me show you what I do have here for Dean and the girls. So I grabbed this Mickey polo for Dean. So that's gonna be his outfit. It comes in a two pack. Um, these are from Amazon. And again, I'll try to link everything I can for those that want to shop, but I, it comes in a two pack. I would definitely suggest sizing down though. Um, usually I get Dean a men's large in his shirts just so they're like comfortable and not super tight. Um, but for these, I had to size down to a medium um, for his size for it to be like comfortable for him. So just wanted to share that. We bought some Star Wars ones of these 
I think a year ago or two years ago, um, and they were way too big, but this time we got mediums and they fit perfectly. For Bella, I have this little, it's all been like in a pile, so it's kind of wrinkled, but it is this little cute butterfly romper, and it does have snaps at the bottom for diaper changes, potty breaks, whatever phase of life you are at with that, um, but it is super cute. And then I have this little floral set for Lucy. I thought this was just darling. I'm like, can they please make this in my size? Because I would totally wear that set. Um, but it is precious, comes with the little um, shorts to match. So that is what they're going to be wearing while I am wearing that green dress. Now clearly in this haul, you can see I have a favorite color. So yeah, I apparently other than the green dress, I just really stuck to a kind of a a color scheme here, but for Epcot and flower and garden, I decided to go with this little set. I have like a shirt um, jacket or a denim jacket that I can throw on over this if it's a little chillier, but I'm thinking with the temperatures, I should be hopefully fingers crossed good with this outfit. Um, and then I can also wear it into the, the warmer spring months, the summer months. I'm very excited about this set, but it is a two piece. So ignore how pasty white I am. It is winter, don't judge me. I need some sun time and I also need some fake tan. So we're gonna, we gotta do that before the trip. But I love this top. It is such like stretchy material up top. I cannot think of the name of this for the life of me right now. But you know, you know what that is. It's part of that top, uh, but it is ruffle shoulders. So very feminine, very fun. And then you do have the high waisted shorts and they do have pockets, ladies. So I know it is so important to have pockets, but these are so comfortable. I can either wear my sandals. I will link my favorite sandals and my favorite park tennis shoes. Like I just take those two and I kind of rotate between the two of them. The, those shoes, I will link them below, but they're my favorite, they're my go-to. So I'll either have on tennis shoes or those sandals. Um, but these are so comfortable. I love how light and breezy they are. Um, and I can see myself wearing this all year long. I had a set similar to this. It was like a, almost a hot pink last year and it was so comfortable, so nice. Um, now, let me show you what the girls and Dean are wearing to Epcot. Mommy cares about flower and garden. The girls do not care about flower and garden. So, Anna and Elsa it is will be doing Acro Shoes breakfast this morning, so they wanted to dress like princesses. And so, Bella will have her Anna dress, and then Lucy will be rocking her Elsa here, and then I have this kind of linen shirt for Dean. I found that a collared shirt, whether it's like a polo or even these like linen shirts work really well, and he is the most comfortable in those versus a t-shirt, which I know sounds absolutely crazy crazy. A lot of times the t-shirts just end up stretching out and like clinging to you in weird ways and these tend to be a bit more comfortable. So I know it's like wow you're dressing your husband so fancy but it's literally he's more comfortable that way than just being in a basic t-shirt which is like all sorts of funky and especially when you have kids climbing all over you and you're carrying them and it's like stretching like the neck ends up hanging down like it's like a v-neck and it's not really a v-neck and it's just it ends up looking funky um, and just ruining the shirt just in general. So it's not even about looks, it just kind of destroys the shirt. And so this ends up being more comfortable to him. I don't know, make it make sense. But it, he's like, I think I like wearing those more. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. You look handsome in them and we're just gonna go with that. So handsome, comfortable, win-win for me. Uh, for Hollywood Studios, we are going with a mini and daisy kind of fab five sort of style. So with the girls outfits, which you'll see in a second, I am wearing this bodysuit. I found this thing at Walmart and I'm like, okay, look at you Walmart. It almost is like a skims. So it's like two layers. So it's nice and slimming and I love that. It is actually a bodysuit. Now bodysuits, this was one of those trends that I was like, okay, like for the first, like I need time with trends. I don't know about you guys, but I need time with trends. It's like, I need about three months to be like, what in the world? Why are we doing this? Another three months to kind of be like, okay, I could, I could see that. I'm, I'm slowly coming around. Three months of it sitting in my closet like how am I gonna wear this do I like this and then by the time I'm like past that it's like okay I know how to style this I enjoy this outfit this is comfortable and then we're on to another trend so I hope that's not the way with bodysuits but I am loving these it is so comfortable and I love that with it being a bodysuit it keeps the tuck tank top tucked in so if you're going for that look it actually like keeps it tucked in love these shorts they are super comfortable good coverage i feel like as a mom so i can like squat and bend and i'm not like 
we ain't got stuff hanging out. Um, that's just not my vibe personally. If that is yours, that's okay. It's just not me. Um, so I love that this is nice coverage. It is so comfortable. And then again, if it's a little bit cooler, I can throw on one of those jacket situations. I can wear that with it as well. Um, and I, yeah, very comfortable. Just throw on a pair of ears. And this is a perfect kind of daisy inspired outfit going on here. But let me show you what the girls are wearing because it's, it's so cute. Okay, so grabbed this fun shirt for Dean. He was like, yes, I will hands down wear that. So you might run it by your husband before you buy him a shirt like this because it may be a little, a little bold for some fellas. But for mine, he's like, hands down, I will wear that. So I thought that was perfect. Got Bella this little mini dress. It is so soft and comfy. So very light and breezy for those warmer days. So it'll be great in March. It'll be great also throughout the rest of the year. It has the cutest back on it with the almost like kind of crisscross back and then the tie for a bow in the back. So super cute. And then Lucy is gonna wear her Daisy dress. She's so excited to wear this. So we've got Minnie and Daisy going on here. I love this dress too and it has the little cute tie in the back. It is absolutely precious. Okay, next we are on to Magic Kingdom and I had ordered a different dress, which I will probably keep this instead of returning it because I feel like it's just like the spaghetti strap dress. Smock, smocked, that's what it is, smocked. The smocked top here and then it's just like a flowy, comfy maxi dress. So I know I will wear this some other time, but for the purpose of where I was going and what I was planning on, I figured this would be better and I can wear, I'm going to wear this like on my Valentine's date. So it's already like, I'm going to use it before I go to Disney. Um, I could probably wear it for Easter too. So I'm like, okay, what else can I get out of this? That would be so fun. Um, so I'm thinking this dress, it has the kind of poofy sleeves a little bit. You've got the smocked detail up top for the bodice. And then it is a maxi dress if I can get far enough back or I don't know, for some of you ladies, it may be a midi dress. It's hitting me at the ankle or just above the ankle. I am 5'3 for reference. So if you're a taller gal, then it may hit you as a midi dress instead, which is still super cute, but love this thing. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have pockets. So I'm a little disappointed in that fact, but I love the dress. Um, it is so comfortable. Like I, I feel like I look fancy, but I don't feel fancy. You know what I mean? Like sometimes it's like, wow, you look really nice. And you're like, I feel like I'm in my pajamas. So that is kind of how I feel like right now. But this I felt like was super cute for our breakfast at Cinderella's Royal Table. And with dining with royalty, I just, I'm not sure a tank top and shorts is just enough. It just felt like it needed, the moment just needed more. Because my princesses will be dressed like this. I mean, look at this. I can't wear a tank top and shorts with that. Like, how am I supposed to compete with this cuteness? Like, okay, mom wants to feel nice too. So that is why I've got that dress. But they are wearing their Rapunzel dresses, which these are so cute. That was a Christmas present. A uh, little hack if you like, oh, Valentine's is coming up. What can I get you? A princess dress. Oh, uh, Easter's gonna come up. What can I get you? Oh, you're getting a princess dress. Forget candy and chocolate in your Easter basket. You're getting a princess dress. So um, that if you're like looking for an excuse to like, okay, I don't wanna buy it just for Disney. That's a great option. And then I pulled out this shirt. This one we have wore a few times, or Dean's wore it a few times, but it gives me with the white, like on the collar here and then on the sleeves, it gives me beast vibe. He's also used it as like bounding as Donald Duck. Um, so we've got a couple options for this shirt, but thought the polo would look very nice. He can wear some black shorts with that. And then last but not least is this set. I got this a couple weeks ago, but I wanted to share it because I'm probably gonna wear it as my travel day outfit. It is this set. I shared it on Amazon on the other day, or on, not on Amazon, it's from Amazon. I shared it on my Instagram stories the other day because it's so comfortable and it was also like $18.99. So I couldn't not share it. It felt like I would be gatekeeping if I didn't tell you about this and it was on sale. So if, if you like to like find out about deals and stuff, I definitely try to share those as I see them over in Instagram stories. But this set, y'all, it is so comfortable. I just have their shorts are high-waisted. It's kind of a knit material, high-waisted shorts. I just have it kind of tucked in there just a little bit for the front tuck. So I'm like, you know, cool mom. Like you have it all together when you have a front tuck. I don't know, you may be falling apart, but you look like you have it together. So that's what we're going for is like cute and we've got this, but it is the most comfortable thing. And I wore this, like sh wanted to share this last cause I'm probably gonna like stay in this today and just live in it. Um, but it is 
so comfortable, so cute, comes in a ton of colors. So very excited about this. It is lightweight enough that I know I can enjoy it in the springtime and even once it starts getting a little bit warmer, it's like, okay, we got shorts so we can like work on these white legs. Lord knows this, these white legs need some sun. They are so pale, it's awful. Um, but my my pale girls can relate to this like and I, I need I need some color in my life But here we are. This is so comfortable. I I love it Seriously, if you are like I want something cute and comfortable like I can lounge in it I can take this to the park. I can run to Target in this. This is the fit this, this is it, it is comfortable. We've moved upstairs to the playroom and I'm gonna go through and show you how I organize all of my like travel toys activities. Um, it can look different for everybody. For me, I have it in this little cabinet here and have these hanging organizers, which you'll see in a second. But I've also known a lot of people and before we had so much and we traveled so frequently, I would do like a little tote or small box or something. And that way, as you're out, you're in Target and you see something at the dollar spot, you are in Walmart or you're at the Dollar Tree, wherever and you're like oh that would be a fun little activity you can grab it because we use these things for just more than even travel if I know I'm gonna have to go to doctor's appointments or they're gonna be going to dinner and something like that like we're gonna be out and we need activities to entertain your kids because you need it for more than just travel so more than just your vacation and getting on the plane um, this is something I like to just kind of keep stocked and that way I have a little something I can pull out I'm not having to run to the store for things every time I need something I've got a little bit of like back stock of activities of things I can pull from so let me show you what we're working with and then I'll show like my rules of this is kind of like my formula for packing activities so I have inside of my Ikea cabinet here these little hanging organizers that I got from Walmart they're like for clothes and shoes but I have everything kind of like sorted out so we've got like tablets headphones over here purses camera so we've got things organized headphones there we've got water painting here and here we've got drawing there mess free little packs that I can easy like grab and go things we've got all kinds of stuff in here so this is kind of how I organize it we've got stickers and books and crayons glow things so I can pull from this so I'm not like okay a trip's coming up I've got to run to the Dollar Tree like I've already been to the Dollar Tree once and I'm like oh I saw these things I bought them I put them in here I know where they are and I'm not like frantically running around trying to do all this stuff last minute because that part gets stressful and vacations are not meant to be stressful so having stuff kind of laid out like this and again you don't have to put it all in here if you wanted you could put it in something like a little basket or store it in a bin like this in your closet or something or put it in a drawer or whatever I'm sure there's a somewhere that you could like tuck things away so just some ideas for like a toy organization as you're leading up to a trip between trips depending on like your lifestyle how you travel what that looks like for your family this is just kind of what works for me a quick rundown of my formula of how how I like pick and pack because I fall into the category of easily being an over packer a lot of times and I've tried to work myself out of that slowly but surely we're getting there but I have the method of three items for the plane so three activities of some sort two activities for the parks and one activity for the hotel room now obviously you can take glow things which I'm gonna like take glow sticks and stuff like that for the parks as well but as far as two like main activities for waiting in line Lines, things like that these are the things that I'm going to be taking for those situations um, and then obviously when you're getting ready and you're hanging out at the hotel room you need something for them to do so that's also something that I'm going to factor in as well and then they may get like a toy while we're there and they can play with that in the room but these are kind of covering my bases so let me put the camera down and show you what I'm talking about for our three activities that we're doing so I'm taking their tablets which their headphones go with them so their tablets and headphones are like one activity and I try to hold these for last like we go through the I am bored stage We don't have anything out. We're sitting on the plane. We're looking at the menus. We're looking at the safety cards We're looking out the window like we try to ride that out as long as possible So we will probably get a good like 20 or so minutes out of just being bored on the plane So we'll do that and then we'll move on to some other activity and then tablet is just like last usually on the way down there on the way back We'll just pull the tablet out, whatever. So however you do that, but that's that's one of their activities. So that's one of our three that we have. Another thing I am taking 
are these stickers. So I've got like the fish and there's a bunch of different ones in here, but we can stick those into the coloring books that I got, the little like books that I showed you in the haul. So we'll have the book, the stickers, it's like in that little pack of their like busy pouch. That will be what I pull out. It'll have stickers, crayons, and a notebook. So that is one activity all together that I'm gonna like make up and put together um, for them in that container. So we'll have these and that that'll go in there. So this is activity number two. And then activity number three, I picked this up at Target and it's actually from the party section. And before you like head down to the comments, cause like Ashley, you have lost your mind. You're recommending play sand as a travel toy. Let me tell you, this is different. This is not your average play sand that's gonna like get everywhere. I actually like this stuff better than Play-Doh because it can like it sticks together. This is not normal kinetic sand where it's like falling all over the place. It's it's weird. So it comes in that container that you can like put it back in. It comes with a little stamp like to play in the sand with. But it's weird. Its texture is so different. Like you can see this is not falling apart even when I pull it. It's like kind of just like sagging. It's much easier to pick up and play with and it's not messy. It doesn't get down in crevices of things, which is insane. I I don't know, this is not normal, but it was like $5 for a pack of six. So I am taking these. They have been playing with these at home and love them. So I'm gonna put that as a little travel toy. So that is our item number three, activity number three for the plane for this trip. Now for the parks, I let them take their little purses, which I don't count this personally as an activity, but we will have their little purses and their cameras. I know I recommend these all the time. I will continue to recommend them because they are their, our most played with activity when we're in the parks, when we're traveling, even at home. They have games on them, so they're more than just a camera. You can play little games on it. It's got like snake and all these different things and they, they love it. So these are awesome. So that's activity number one is their cameras. Activity number two are these little small drawing boards. So these are go-tos for us too, and I can carry these in my small sling petunia bag. So I love these, doesn't take up a lot of room, and it's something that I can have on me in that little mommy bag that I carry around, that if they don't have their cameras, we left those in the stroller and we're in a line and it's taking a little bit longer and we need something, I can pull this out. And then this is for the hotel room. It folds out really big, but this was such a hit. So I'm doing, I'm repeating this. I don't usually repeat multiple strips in a row, but this one is awesome. It takes up no space. Like it's thinner than a muslin blanket. Like it's when you like fold it up. Um, so I'm loving this. It comes with two little pins. They're downstairs. I've got to grab those, but that you fill them with water and they can draw on these and it is awesome. It's mess free. It's something big that they can like spread it out on the bed and like color and play and have a lot of fun and it doesn't take up a lot of room. So just kind of keep this in as your little formula. Three for the plane, two for the parks, and one for the hotel. All right, you guys, so that is gonna do it for this prepping for Disney vlog. I have a few other things. I still need to order groceries. I've not done that. I've not finalized my grocery list. And I also need to make our mousekeeping, um, any tip envelopes for Bell Services or our drivers um, for our transportation, things like that that I like to do. Um, just kind of personalize them and make them fun. So I will actually be sharing that in a future little vlog, doing kind of a week before Disney vlog of all of those like super last minute things and getting the house ready to go on vacation, that sort of stuff. So if that is something that you're interested in, you'll want to stay tuned for that. Go ahead, ring that little bell. That way you can be notified when new videos go live. And I will see you guys right back here in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, into the video club. I know you know the drill by now because you're like top tier level of this like into the video club. Like you are a like, I don't know, platinum member by this point, if you have been making it to the end of these videos. But I would love it if you would leave me a comment with, let's see, what should we do? I'm looking at sunglasses, let's do sunglasses. Let's do a sunglasses emoji, like the emoji with the sunglasses on, or just, I think there's maybe a sunglasses emoji. Let's do that. So add something like that into your comment, but thank you guys again for being here. I really appreciate you being here watching every second of the video. It just, it means so much that you guys want to be so supportive and I, I can't thank you enough. Like, I really hope I get to hug every single one of you in the parks one day and just like say hi, or I don't have to hug. If you're not a hugger, I get that too. We can just say hi and just be like, it's nice to meet you. Um, but <laughs> I would love that. So 
thank you guys for watching bye